let's talk about some of the cases uh, that you've observed. Um, before I, I name out any names, I am curious uh, as to who historically, dead or alive, that you've watched and observed the moving images of uh, that really, you know, maybe it had you kind of baffled where where maybe it was a, a steeper hill to climb of trying to decipher what is going on with that individual uh, because maybe they were very, very good at this. Is there anybody out there like that? I guess is the first question. <laughs> you know what? Nobody comes, nobody comes to mind in that. Nobody really comes to mind because ultimately, in, in many cases, we know the outcome. Mm -hmm. We know the outcome. And in cases where we're looking at, so for example, we've been looking at a at a, a situation just recently on on a uh, YouTube show that I'm part of, the Behaviour Panel. Um, uh, Sebastian Rogers, a uh, young child who's been who's disappeared, and many people are looking at at the parents. Mm -hmm. Certainly online, they're looking at the parents and going, "Well, you know, they they must be involved in some way." Well, why? Because it's a mystery, mm -hmm. and so in a mystery, you need. You need a target. You need you need something to stop the confusion of it. And statistically, you know, it, it's a fair bet that parents might be involved statistically, but but it's not a hundred percent. So it means it's nowhere near a hundred percent that parents yeah. will be involved. So so we'll bias towards the statistical bias, and we'll create evidence in our minds uh, that that um, that makes sense. Now, in this case. Uh, myself and 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 all the other guys on the on the team have looked at that and gone. There is we would not concentrate on the parents at all. Really? in this in this case, not at all, not 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 not, not at all. Now, yeah, th they could be the most incredible criminal geniuses that we've come across. It's possible. Mm -hmm. I mean, ultimately, everything is possible. Mm -hmm. Is it probable? based on the evidence that we've seen. When I say evidence, I say we are looking at video of them being questioned by a reporter about this, and the reporter is questioning fairly well mm -hmm. about this. And we're able to observe quite a lot that's going on. Is it possible that they have committed a crime here? It's possible, but it's not at all very probable. If it turns out to be it's them, you would go absolute criminal geniuses, and you would go with that ability, with that ability, like what else would they have done? Sure. And why and 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 so why is this guy as a as a as a criminal genius, why is he driving a crane? Mm -hmm. Like why why is it, like why 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 isn't he why aren't they running a country? Yeah. Well, why aren't they? <laughs> like, like their ability, if they can, if they can lie at that level mm -hmm. under those circumstances, you know, it it doesn't it, like, you know, I would I would go well. The world doesn't make any sense. There. Sure, it makes sure. zero sense. Uh, we're speaking of that where you have your online sleuths that are out there uh, mm -hmm. that are, you know, God knows there's a gazillion of them these days. Um, and, and some, you know, they, they seem to kind of have some more accuracy to them, some not so much. How often do the online, does the online sleuth community get it wrong where they're, they're looking at behavior? They may not be an expert anywhere near your level or, or have much education in that, but they have their gut and their guts telling them this or that. How often do you see that? And you go, no, you guys are completely wrong. Yeah, so look, the, the, the gut instinct is really important because the gut instinct is designed to keep you alive today. Mm -hmm. It doesn't care about being accurate. Yeah, it, 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 it cares about being careful mm -hmm. uh, for your benefit right now, accuracy tomorrow. So it will bias towards negatives. It will have a very, very strong bias based on past um history that it's had it will also rem uh, forget the times that you got it wrong where it wasn't fatal or critical okay mm -hmm. so so uh you know you'll have a lot of people going well i think these people you know these people are guilty well why what's your evidence well i just you know i feel it like yeah. it's clear it's clear it's like clear how 
Like, give me the moment. Like, but not just one moment. I need a cascade of moments. I need enough moments that I would go, it is so much more probable, not possible. Mm -hmm. It's so much more probable that this person is is involved in a crime mm -hmm. at, at this point. And people will go, well, I just I just feel like it's the case. Okay. And they'll go, and I, and I usually get this stuff right. Mm -hmm. All right. Can I see your stats on that then? Yeah. Can I see? And I want to see. I don't want to see how many times you got it right. Mm -hmm. I want to see how many times you got it right and you got it wrong. Interesting. Because if you yeah. just go, oh, I got it right 10 times. Great. Yeah. Then, do, do you remember the the 70 that you got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. And, and that's how we lead our lives. Look, if we went around with our instinct, constantly remembering all the times that we biased towards a negative and we were inaccurate and we missed out on average opportunities, we'd mm -hmm. never live our lives. Sure. Anything that we miss out on because of our, our instinct bias, we just go, it wasn't fatal, nobody died, just forget, erase it from the memory. Mm -hmm. Every time we get it right, and it was critical, we remember that. We go, wow, remember when you when you really thought there was summing up, and it turned out you were absolutely right, and, and they went on to, to kill somebody? Like, you want to remember that. Look how good your instinct is. Well, it got it critically right once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah? And so you survived. Yeah. Hey, it's Tony Bruschi. If you like the podcast, be sure to like, subscribe, and Press that bell so you don't miss any of our updates on the cases we're following for you right here at the Hidden Killers podcast and True Crime Today. And thanks.